Donald Trump took center stage Wednesday night, literally and figuratively, as the top 11 Republican presidential candidates gathered at the Reagan Library for the second GOP debate. I say not in a braggadocious way. I've made billions and billions of dollars dealing with people all over the world. Trump's rivals wasted no time taking swipes at the Republican frontrunner. His, his visceral response to attack people on their appearance, short, tall, fat, ugly. My goodness, that happened in junior high. Are we not way above that? Would we not all be worried to have someone like that in charge of the nuclear arsenal? Take, take the, Mr. But Trump. Trump came ready to fire back. I never attacked him on his look, and believe me, there's plenty of subject matter right there. That I can tell you. Jake, in the first face-to-face -face meeting between Trump and the rival whose appearance he did criticize, Carly Fiorina, the former Hewlett Packard CEO said she'd let Trump's remarks stand for themselves. I think women all over this country heard very clearly what Mr. Trump said. Trump did his best to make nice. I think she's got a beautiful face and I think she's a beautiful woman. The debate did take a substantive turn with the candidates sparring over issues from talking with Russia. I will get along, I think, with Putin, and I will get along with others. Russia is a bad actor, but Vladimir Putin is someone we should not talk to. To the nuclear deal with Iran. And on the very first day in office, I will rip to shreds this catastrophic Iranian nuclear deal. Should we cut up the agreement immediately? That's absurd. Retired neurosurgeon Ben Carson, who's been steadily rising in the polls in recent weeks, struggled to stand out on the crowded debate stage. I think you're going to see a big impact on autism. Dr. Carson, you just heard his medical take. <laughs> He's an okay doctor. Uh. <laughs> okay. While throughout the debate, Trump and former Florida Governor Jeb Bush struggling to regain momentum amid his falling poll numbers bickered about almost everything. When he asked Florida to have casino gambling, we said no. Wrong. We said no, and that's the simple fact. The don't, simple don't fact make things is, up, Jeb. Don't, don't make cut me off, Come sir. on, don't make things up. Despite the wrangling, there was this lighthearted note when the candidates were asked about their Secret Service code name. Ever ready. It's very high energy, Donald. <laughs> <laughs> the candidates will have some time to unwind after the more than three-hour debate. The next round is six weeks away at the University of Colorado in Boulder. Kelly Daschle, Associated Press.